Hey guys, welcome back to Basant Kitchen. Today we are doing something really cool. We are making blackened salmon with avocado salsa and we're gonna plate it two ways. One, we're gonna do it over rice pilaf and second, we're gonna do it with sauteed asparagus and pan roasted potatoes. It's awesome, you're gonna love it, but most importantly, it's gonna be Basant style. Let's start off with the ingredients. We have six ounce gorgeous Atlantic salmon steaks. Here we have the ingredients for our avocado salsa. We have as avocados, fresh cilantro, Roma tomatoes, white onion, and lemon juice. We have our blackened seasoning rub. We have seasoned salt, liquid butter, salt and pepper, dry parsley, fresh garlic, steamed asparagus, parboiled potatoes, and extra virgin olive oil. Guys, we have all our ingredients. Salmon is looking gorgeous. Let's get started. First, we're gonna put down a little bit of olive oil. And so when we rest the fish on it, it doesn't get stuck. We give it a little butter bath, just so that the meat can stick. Get the seeds up. <laughs> Generously sprinkle a blackened seasoning mix on it. I'm gonna leave the recipe for blackened seasoning mix in the description so you guys can make your own. And if you guys don't feel like it, you can use Old Bay seasoning too, which works amazing. I like to make my own. I like to do a little dry parsley on it so when it bakes, it becomes part of the encrusted seasoning. It looks really hot. Now, this is it guys. We heated the oven at 400. It's good to go. We're gonna put the fish in for about 15 minutes. I personally like my fish well done, so I'm gonna leave it for 20, maybe a little bit longer. But after 15 minutes, depending on how you like your fish, it's fair game. So let's get it started. We're gonna start off with the salsa while we're making the fish, so you just make very thin cuts. So I like to chop them really thin. Take your time, don't miss a spot. You pick a focal point and just go at it. See how gorgeous they're coming out. Onions are chopped. You see, this is what you want about this big. This is perfect. My salmon is out of the oven. It's cooked perfectly. The seasoning is encrusted gorgeously on it. Now we're gonna let it rest for about five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna make our salsa and we're gonna start plating the sun style. So you take the top and the bottom off. <laughs> this is the most important part in this. You have to pour your tomatoes, get all the, the stem out that has all the liquids. So you just get the nice tomato skin. Where you cut them, and you just make a little funnel and find a focal point and cut. No hacking, just slide them up. That's all. And on the second round, you'll get the ones that you missed. in the middle and turn the avocado let your knife do the work
I got a little bruise, but there we go. That's it, guys. You make very thin cuts. Quarter bun cilantro, chopped, soaked. Add that. And now, I'm gonna do about half a lemon. Just make sure you don't add any seeds. But the colors look gorgeous. It's fresh, it's clean, it's summer. It reminds me of Long Island. Everything I love cooking. This is exactly the food I love cooking. And now we're gonna add about half a teaspoon of black pepper or toothpaste. I like it a little sharp. And a pinch of salt. Like I said, toothpaste. And very gently we mix it. Wow. I could just eat this with a spoon some tortilla chips. It is so fresh. Guys, the heart and soul of this dish is my avocado salsa. It is so pretty, it smells so good. The applications are endless. You make tortilla chips, you can serve it with that. You make tacos, burritos. It's just everything summer is all about is right here in this bowl. And wait till I plate it on my salmon, it's gonna knock it out of the About pot. two tablespoons of olive oil. Get it, let it get nice and hot so you can saute our asparagus. We add asparagus in it. It's a very rough saute. You don't want to overcook it because it's already boiled. Give it a little char. Asparagus out, have a nice char on each side. That's exactly what you want. And let it rest. The parboiled potatoes we had, I'm gonna cut them in half. I have the same pan with the oil from asparagus in it. And you put it, put a char on it. Now you let it cook for about three minutes. Two minutes to flip them. Wow, look at the color. How gorgeous is this char? Consistently, now the, now what's gonna happen is the skin's gonna get super crispy too. The potatoes are ready. We lightly season them with salt, a pinch, and pepper. This is the coolest thing in the world because they're light, they're airy, and they're super crispy. So hey guys, everything is ready. Now is to my favorite part, plating. Because to me, plating is just as important as the main dish. So let's get started. I have something really cool in store for you guys. I like to give a rustic look to my dishes. And nothing more rustic than serving or plating it on a big cutting board. The rice peel off down.
that's exactly the sun style. Okay, so now I'm gonna play my sauteed asparagus with garlic and olive oil, some seasoned salt, spread it around a little bit. Pan roasted potatoes. Now for my favorite garnish, dried parsley, break the color down. So there guys, the recipe is complete. Fish is plated two ways. The color is gorgeous, the crust is beautiful. Salsa on point, plating out of this world. This is exactly the kind of food I love cooking. This is Basan style. I hope you guys like this recipe. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Definitely Basan style. Oh, I'm dying to do this. and then you get the sauteed asparagus. It is amazing. Let's try the next one. I wish you guys could try it. It is amazing. Wow. You don't mind me? I have to go back in.